Okay, well, uh, what we are going to discuss for our new semester, even we have some delay for uh, current semester and soon we will meet each other in the real class, we will discuss for uh, one of the chapters regarding our microsystem or microchips subject, which uh, the name is embedded system. Initially, because all the microchips uh, coming to the broad uh, subject or um, broad umbrella of the embedded system, we should see uh, why we need this course and how we should do that. Uh, in brief, uh, today we will discuss the course and we will learn so many things. Even I wish that you can improve your uh, English skill that both of us can enjoy. Uh, otherwise, currently, maybe I cannot learn uh, Chinese very fast, and you should give me some time. Yeah. Okay, well, um, um, initially, I should introduce myself. As some of you know, I'm uh, uh, Ata Jangir Moshaidi, that you can call me Ata. I have done my PhD in electronics and robotics, and my MSc is from the instrumentation and my B is from Power Electronic. This is my email address that you can contact and this is my uh, office that currently if you come I'm not there. But uh, after opening the school we can visit, uh, visit each other there. Uh, my main uh, research interest is in robotics and currently I'm working on the service robot. Um, we have some day that uh, it will be specified during the uh, course. Currently, I, I will not put the dates here in these uh, slides. And uh, we have some lectures time, which uh, most probably it will start from 10 weeks. Okay, I tell you that uh, all of you that please join uh, the group. And uh, currently, I have some of you there. And this is my also private WeChat that all of you can uh, use it and uh, even if you have any question now or any time during our lecture course you can ask through that uh, we need some reference book I think uh, one of the good book is this that designing embedded system with Arduino board that uh, it's a very recent one I will distribute this uh, book through the uh, group that we have and uh, also uh, the, the PDF version of this book uh, that you can enjoy. Okay, let us see why we need the embedded system and uh, what is the role of this subject in our uh, course and also in our life. As you see in our world, it's full of smarts and connected product that we call it embedded system with the processor. Let me tell you truly that embedded system is nothing by a system that have the one microprocessors and some prefillers, something like the hand. We have one body, which is our body is the microprocessor, and we have some sensors and some softwares that we should coordinate them. And then through all this connection between these prefillers, we can have the system that we can call it embedded system. Most of you see the some subject that they call it do it yourself. Do it yourself projects are the project that uh, you can mix uh, various things, something like uh, sensors, wires, microcontrollers, and through that you can have this system. This is exactly some example of uh, embedded system. Some new things happened this recent world. Recent, I mean that uh, since 2010, now it's become 10 years, a little bit, it's a big gap, but uh, still we can say that it's new. Some things um, introduce that people uh, call it Arduino, one concept. You know that uh, today work that, were, that is mixed with uh, new concept of open source and IoT, as you see. And open source coding is one of the skills that all of you nowadays should have it. What I mean by open source? I mean that currently people are uh, uh, not doing the very uh, tough job to doing the coding, but what they will do, they will start 
to use the other person's library or other person's uh, uh, codes between their uh, code. It means that suppose you have one idea or you have uh, something in your mind. It's no need for you to start uh, to redesign the wheel. You can use the other person's codes and use it be uh, inside of your uh, coding part and beside of, inside of your project. This is one pioneer uh, idea to having the Arduino. And in 2007 or 2005, I think, when Massimo Banzi, the person who invented the Arduino board, think with this idea, he could take the best achievement or best prize of innovation in that year with the concept of Arduino. Arduino is nothing by the microprocessors and coding, um, some novel coding part which is mixed between C and C++ and it's open source one. You can use, you can find any code from that, you can use various projects, you can use various job, various nice job with that. And uh, due to its uh, newly and expand uh, application which I saw and even I work these years with that in lots of projects with that. I try to uh, introduce this board for you uh, in this semester. Uh, beside what we are going to speak is that we will say some things regarding the embedded system, something like Artus that I written here for you, and you can read it. But really, the embedded system is whatever we have uh, as the electronic device nowadays we can somehow tell them that they are embedded system in the sense that if you see from this slide you have some camera this camera needs some lens it needs some processors to do the image processing that to do to do some filtering job for you all of them are we can call as the embedded system or some smartphone the mobile that just currently you have is one of the embedded system. The notebooks or laptops that currently you can see these slides from that is one embedded system. Aeroplane itself is one uh, embedded system. The controlling part from your car is a embedded system. The printer is also one, as well as some digital, um, I don't know, uh, digital system and all are the example for the or uh, for the embedded system then what i advise uh, for you not just for this course for any course that you have in your careers in your degrees or any things in your life my friends try to learn and enjoy means that uh, it needs some um, i don't know some mindset it needs some initial thinking through learning but anyway First, you should enjoy and then learn it. This is my goal that I uh, try to give you this vision that uh, please learn and enjoy. You are responsible for all the materials that uh, I'm present in this lecture. And uh, there will be also uh, some extra note that I will share in the uh, group that we have. And as I always, I will tell you, please don't put any things in the groups. This group, just I will put the, um, any text for that because we have some other friends that uh, with other lectures, and I don't want to make them confused. Okay. Uh, let us see what I cooked for you for this course. I try to um, give you some new uh, vision for the embedded system and also microchip system with the Arduino. First today we will discuss regarding why and what and how we should do that. Then next lecture we will discuss through the brief on C language and we have some review on that, some different between microcontroller and microprocessor. Then we will go to the Arduino hardware part, serial communication in Arduino and slowly slowly like this adding the segment uh, seven segment adding the lcd adding the interrupt adc timers and so many things but in all my lectures if you uh, 
wants to attend, you should do the assignment. Means any lecture we have assignment, which this assignment, some of them I will tell you that uh, you should prepare with the PPT format, some of them with the word format, it's different, different assignment. And uh, maybe we will put this as a real assignment part when the school is open, but uh, just be prepared for that. Uh, even uh, Dr. Hong uh, last uh, semester helped us and uh, kindly helped us really, and we could buy enough special uh, <laughs> Arduino board for the previous lectures class, and we have now this board. But if you want, you can buy these uh, boards also. It's very cheap. It's near to 23 or um, even nowadays uh, 12 RMB that you can buy that. I um, advise if you want to order the Arduino board, you can use the Revision 3 or R3 boards uh, for that. Okay, uh, it's just the introduction about our course. Uh, I wish that uh, soon we can start. Uh, our course in the school uh, otherwise we will continue with these methods and um, I wish all of you happy life and uh, uh, health for you and your family soon we will see you please continue to following the lectures and uh, if you have any question please send me in private you soon for the next lectures.